Hi, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this Nokia 5110 LCD display. So we can learn how we can put a text, how we can put a line, a circle, a rectangle, and also we, we can see how we can put the text inside a rectangle, uh, the code for this will be available by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started. So this is an OK screen in terms of resolution. It has 84 dots or pixel horizontally and 48 vertically. So in terms of design, it's very uh, solid and with very minimum number of pens, it can work because it uses SPI protocol. So let me show you the size. The board is 45 millimeter. Exactly. So 45 by 45. And then the module is in terms of width 34 millimeter by 40 millimeter, 40.3 millimeter. And the thickness is 4.9 millimeter. And the thickness is 4.9 millimeter. So this usually comes unsoldered. So I solder this here, this pen header, and we have the pen header can be either from this way or that way, depending on where you want to solder it. So this is also empty, so you can use it either this way or that way. And also we have four screw holes if you want to mount it on some place uh, to be secured. Let me explain now the wiring from the bottom. If I start here, VCC will be connected to five volts. That's written in the code. And then ground is connected to ground. SCE will be connected to pin seven. And then we have RTS will be connected to pin six. DC will be connected to pin five. DN will be connected. MIOS will be connected to pin 11 so it has been labeled clearly and then s clock will be connected to pin 13 so i've already connected this for example s clock is the black black is connected to pin 13 here and then led will be connected uh, to the 330 ohm resistor it will be connected to pin 9 so you don't connect this to pin 9. So let me show you this one LED, the yellow. I've connected it here to a 330 or 390 ohm resistor. So anything above 330 up to 500 will work. So and then from here, I've connected this to pin 9. The display is connected to 5 volts from this point. So here is a demonstration of the changes that I have made here. So let me restart this. So it, it draws, this is the main uh, icon and then a line, a circle, how you draw a circle, put the text and line and also then rectangle black with white text. And so these are the, the main thing that you usually you will need. But for full features of that, you can look at the other demo and then modify it for what you, you want to do it. So let me explain the code now. This is called Nokia LCD joystick. If I open this folder, you can see here, this is Nokia LCD joystick.ino. This is our Arduino file and here is the .h file. So you will see I've saved it in my document Arduino and Nokia. So when you download the file, just put it in the same folder as the file name that you create on Arduino. So when you create a file, for example, Nokia LCD joystick, it will create a folder and the file will be there. So the file that I give you will just put it here in this folder and you will be fine. You don't need to include it in library or anywhere else. Provide this file. So you just include the file with the location that you save this Arduino file. So this is LCD function.h. So it must be with the same folder. You don't have to include it in the library and it will work. Inside the setup, so this is not needed. I just left it like that. This this section, this is the most important one that runs the code. Make sure that 
the uh, library starts working. This is bringing the logo if there is no data. As you can see here, if I restart this, I'm just resetting this button here. I'm just restarting it. So this brings the logo. If I comment this out and then reboot the code, the code is rebooted. So we have this and you don't see that logo. So if you want to see the logo, just remove this because there is nothing in front before this line so it prints that logo if something is before the line some content it will the logo will not be displayed so this sets the contrast 40 to 60 is the maximum 60 is the maximum and then two seconds and then clear the display and makes it white so if you put this as a black all the screen will be black So let me update it and see that when initially starts it makes the whole screen fully black. So that's the black screen and then it start, started. Then um, update display does the same thing, the content. So the main loop is the one that I've modified. So these are all the comments with some valuable information for the text so I'm not gonna explain or touch them but the one that has this is the line the first one that draws this line so this is the X position and this is the Y so it starts from X at the fourth at the first one and then Y is 4 it goes 4 pixels down and then goes to the X 70 and then Y 4 so if you want to draw a horizontal line the Y value must be the same. If this is 10, this should be 10 the same way. So this from 1 to 70 is the length. Black is the color is black. If you want to make it white, of course the background should be black, so the white will be revealed. And then after each content that you put, you must put update display, so that is displayed, and here it waits for 2 minutes or 2000 milliseconds. And then clear the screen with white, so this will, see after this it, it will disappear and after that there is a circle so here is a circle the circle again this is the center of circle so pixel 20 here and then 30 down so x is 20 and y is 30 so x 20 y is 30 that's why it's there and then 20 is the radius how far from the center the circle will be and then this black is the color and then one is uh, very tiny if I put it as 2 that will determine the circle's thickness then we put update display so now the code is loaded just wait so after this you will see the line and now, now you see this it's very thick set string so str so we put the word uh, the words oh, welcome to and then x 0 y 0 and then the text is black so this is the one the one that you just saw and then black is the text and then we say updates so this will print it and then wait for 100 milliseconds and then we say set line so after that the text under that immediately there is a line uh, this line is that one and then update display so display it and then we say robojax this time we put it at x20 y20 so 2020 20, that's the robojax and then here we say set rectangle this is drawing the rectangle for us so this is the one 10 10 and it goes to 70 y and uh, 40 so 10 10 is at this point and 70 40 is so this is 70 and 40 is down so that is the other corner so this is the first corner x and y and that's the other corner and then this one is the mm, And the filling and then this is the black the color and then we put also the text of Robojax inside the rectangle with a white color and that's it this continues like that so if you're getting a voltage let's say, let's say you're getting a voltage a value from something and you want to display it so 
you just set uh, you just use this set string inside the string that you just put the value that you want and the location on the screen just print it so this is the line that you need to put a specific value if you want multiple values the same as here that i put welcome to and then set string here so you can put two three four line as long as you have room on the screen just put it accordingly uh, on top of each other and a different line and it will print it for you so this is the demo of the original code that i got with the library so this is what it does now it draws a circle with a line You see this shape and then the background and then circles randomly appear everywhere. And then text on top of it and then this cartoon or drawing has been done with a mm, huge code that you see here. This drawing is this code here. All of these. So up to here. So so the book that I typed up here, here, I typed RoboJax, you see that after that it just prints it. And whatever you type, the tilde, which is on the left side of the keyboard, pressing it with a shift, clear the screen and now we can put a new text as you can see I typed RoboJax. So thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video. Please also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. If you have any question or comment, please post it at the comment section below and I will try to reply and answer your questions.